Hi everyone, welcome back to my second post for our product focus hop. <laughs> um, I'm still trying to get used to saying that. So, um, as you heard in my previous video for this hop, that this is a product focus um, that was started by Jason Laux, who is a fellow YouTuber also and one of my friends. Um, it's for Stampin' Up! demonstrators to kind of get together in a little group. Um, we're not all from the same teams or anything, but we've created a group for ourselves to do product focuses every other month where we take one week out of that month and we focus on one product from Stampin' Up! This week we are focusing on the Made With Love stamp set. So I have used some coordinating products with this. I've also used the Baby's First Framelits dies. So I've put the two of these together. Um, I also did use um, the Framelits Labels Collection, which is retired. I got this from a dear friend of mine. And let's see what else. I used some retired um, ruffle ribbon. This one I did in Calypso Coral. So I used new DSP for this. Um, but I did use the retired ribbon and I used retired coordinations um, textured cardstock here and then for my little white ribbon that goes down the middle um, I just have a little piece of that and I did get that from um, Michaels or something a long time ago. I don't have much of this left but I just needed a little piece of it so I did add that in there. Um, here's the pool party ribbon. So I'm going to do the one on camera is going to be done in pool party. Um, I also did use the Something for Baby stamp set. Um, I used the little hanger out of here. So you can see the little hanger right behind the clothes. So that's what I used for this one. So I'm going to show you how to make this little gift bag. Um, and it may take a few minutes because I'm not a pro at these. I've only made a couple of them. So bear with me during the filming for this. <laughs> So what I did is I took my designer series paper that is in the Subtles collection. This is the pool party. And I picked this little script one. I thought it was pretty cute. So I'm using the gift bag punch board. Now this isn't the one from Stamping Up, but um, it's the same exact one. It's made by the same exact company. It's just not in the Stampin' Up colors. Um, so we do offer this currently in our annual catalog right now. So the measurements for my paper are, I totally forgot. No, okay. This is 11 inches. I'm going to make the medium sized bag. It comes with all of your instructions on how to do it. So I actually have this sitting above me so I can follow along. I've only made a few of these and I forgot my length. Okay, so my height is going to be five and a quarter. So when you're measuring and trying to figure out how tall you want your bag, your tabs take about a, an inch and a quarter. So however tall you want this, add an inch and a quarter for your tabs to get the bottom of your bag. Um, so that is actually inside the instructions. Um, just wanted to point that out though in case you've never made one before. So, another thing you need to remember, if you have directional paper, you need to flip it upside down because that needs to be the bottom of your bag. The top of your bag is up here. Um, you could do some kind of fancy little um, edge right here. I didn't do that this time. So let's go ahead and get started. Now there's a line right here. It says start line. So we're going to put this in here and we're going to line it up right here and we're going to, I'm going to actually turn this. So you guys aren't going to get like the greatest view of doing this, but I don't have like a straight down camera view. So the first thing you're going to do is go ahead and punch, then you're going to go horizontally with your little score tool. I just go back and forth a couple times. Okay, and then you're going to go down for the size that you need where it says medium. I'm going to go down. 
and I'm going to check my directions and make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, so there's your mediums, your medium score lines. Then we're going to take this over and this score line that we did here, we're going to line that up on our start line here again. I'm going to go ahead and punch. Ugh. Okay, so this one we're going to do the little triangle. So we're going to score this way, score this way, and then we're going to do right down the center here. Then we're also going to do the horizontal this way. And let me make sure. Oh, and then it says side right here. So then we're going to do the side. So this little section here is going to form the side of our bag. So we're going to move it over and this score line again, we're going to move to the start. And we're going to punch. And then we're going to go horizontal. And then we're going to go down where it says the M for medium. Just like that. That's going to give us the the front or the back of our bag. I'm going to move it back over again and we're going to punch and we're going to do our little triangle again just like that. I'm going to do our horizontal and then we're going to do our side and you're going to be left with just a little bit of an edge here. So we're going to move it over back to the start. This usually takes me a minute so I want to get it lined up. And we're going to punch again. Just like that. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our punch board. And we're going to flip it upside down. So now we're going to use the other end of the punch here. So we're going to line up our first score mark here, and this is going to punch the holes for our ribbon. I'm hoping that's lined up. Then we're going to move it back over, and you're going to count three score marks in, so one, two, three, so your third one. I'm going to double check and make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, yeah, so your third score line there. We're going to punch. Then we're going to move it over to score line number four. And punch. Then we're going to move it to the score line number six. So you can count them in, one, two, three, four, five, and this is number six. We're going to punch that one. And then we're going to line up the edge here with the little point on the punch. And that's going to give us our last punch hole. Okay. So let's see if we put the bag together correctly here. So I'm just going to fold on all of my little score marks here real quick. So there we have all of our folding. Do a little flaps here. And then our little tiny flap here on the edge. Let me go ahead and fold that one up too. But we're going to do some cutting. So I'm just going to get my little paper snips. And I'm going to do an angle here at the top. And then we're going to cut this flap off. So I'm just going to do an angle here also. Oops. So we'll set those aside. So. What we're going to do is place some score tape, or this is scrappy tape, or you can use the, the tear and tape, um, the red liner tape, that kind of thing. 
So I'm going to put my box together and try to remember. Okay, so we need some on the inside of this flap. And the inside of this flap. To hold the bottom together. And then right on this flap, just a little skinny one on the side. I'm going to go ahead and put our tape there. And then we're going to assemble it. Uh, my nose is running again today. It seems to happen a lot during my video filming. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put our side together first. I'm just going to get my paper piercer to lift this little liner up. And if you just fold it in half, it should line up. with the edge here, just like that. I'm just going to press that down with my bone folder. So there we have most of our box. <laughs> and then you're just going to tuck in your little flaps here and go ahead and this off that's not going to stick down very well so what I usually do is get these down make sure that it's straight and the box is still square and try to get it to line up and then just using the back end of my bone folder kind of press down where that tape is so that way it holds the bottom together so then the sides all you do is just pinch in the sides and that gives you your little bag here so you would just stick all your little goodies inside and then you will take some ribbon um, you could use this as little handles if you wanted, but I'm just going to take some ribbon and tie it as a little bow. So I'm just going to stick this through and hope that this doesn't give me problems trying to put it together, tying the bow wise. Uh, I'm just going to kind of gauge how much ribbon I might need here. Probably gonna cut too much off, but I'd rather that than not have enough. This ribbon's a little bit thicker than these holes, so I'm trying to get it to come through. Okay. So then I'm just going to kind of play with the back here for a second and get this kind of lined up in the back. And then we'll just go ahead and tie our bow in the front. And it's a little hard to do this. I'm sure if there was a bunch of stuff on the inside it would make it a lot easier. Um, it wouldn't flop around a whole lot. So, just fumble around with this for a second. And I knew this part was going to give me trouble. Especially because, you know, it's in the video filming. The other one I played with for a little while, a little while, trying to get the bow the way I wanted it. 
but I don't want to spend too much time fumbling around with this one just for the sake of the video it's not doing what I want there we go just trying to make sure <laughs> that I can get try to tighten this up a decent looking bow. I guess that's as good as it's going to get on camera here. So I'm just going to go ahead and clip the little tails here. And then we will get on to decorating the front of it. So there's that. Kind of nerve wracking tying bows on the, on the camera. So I have already cut the rest of all of my pieces. So using the white, I have my my little tiny label here and my little strip of pool party. I believe this is a half an inch. Yeah, this is a half an inch. So I'm just gonna put some tape on this and we're gonna get that down. So just going to kind of center it and then I will just flip it over and trim now that I've glued it to my mat. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to trim around. The shape of my little die there. We'll do this side. Then we'll go ahead and attach our little 1 8 inch ribbon on there. So for that I'm going to use the super skinny 1 8 inch scrappy tape here. just so I know that that little piece of ribbon is going to stay in place. Okay, so we'll just lift off the little liner. This really is not a very time consuming bag. You can go a lot faster when you're not filming. <laughs> so I'm just gonna take this ribbon and place it right on my little scrappy tape there. So we'll just flip this over and I forgot to grab some tape. And we're going to tape it on the back so it does not move. And that is way too long of a piece. So I'm going to go ahead and trim that. I'll get the other one. So there we have it taped down. So this we're actually going to attach directly to the bag and you should probably use the score tape for this also. Um, I just didn't really think about it. So there we go and I left this open enough to get my finger in there so I can go ahead and press that down. Um, <laughs> another quick tip is you could probably put this on the front before you close the bag up. And then I'm going to take my little onesie with the bib and the hanger. There we go. And put some dimensionals on this. We'll go ahead and attach this to the front and that will complete our little gift bag. Just a few dimensionals here. We'll go ahead and peel these off. And 
And then we'll just kind of angle this on the front of our bag here. And again, just kind of stick your finger in here and push down on the little dimensional parts. So there we have some cute little little gift bags that you can put little candies in and you can or whatever you could roll up a little onesie and stick it in there if you do the taller bag um, so that is how you use the gift bag punch board along with the made with love stamp set this is a optional baby project for you guys I hope you've enjoyed this one and I will see you guys in my last project coming up next bye